Hi, I'm Matt Hodges with GeoPro, and today I want to take you on a walk around of the 3135 GT. Let's start with the drill mast here. On the left side, you've got your auto drop hammer. Here, you've got your rotary GH10 rotary head, which gives you a max torque of 10,000 foot-pounds in first gear and a max speed of 1,000 RPM in sixth gear. Here, you have your direct push hammer for all your direct push tooling needs. You're able to push CPT here and then on this side, you've got your rod grip. So anytime you need to take rods out of the ground, you can use this function here. This gives you multiple revenue streams at the touch of your fingertips. Now let's go ahead and take, take a look at a couple features of this drill mast. It has 28 inches worth of head feed side shift, okay? What that gives you is center line access to the hole you're working over, whether you're using your drilling functions or the winch lines. The head also has 105 inches worth of travel, which gives you access to awkward intervals. You know, if you've got an auger sticking two or three foot out of the ground, need to throw an AWJ rod in there, it gives you access to get up and over that rod and still be able to lower the mast. The strength of the machine is very impressive. It's got 36,000 pounds of crowd force or push force and 48,000 pounds of pull force. Moving on, You've got dual outriggers. This is an option. It's got 16 inches worth of travel, and it's great for when you're using mud rotary and you need to get up and over a mud pan or augering when you want to get above the cuttings that are coming up out of the ground. Now we'll move over to the seven inch breakout. The seven inch breakout comes equipped with jaws that clamp force at 21,000 pounds. It can, it can be used with rods as small as inch and a quarter or as large as six inches. Above it, you see the hydraulic wrench that is used to break apart joints of rods that are you know, pretty stuck together. And you've got 6,000 pounds of torque with that wrench. As you see here on the end, it's got a tool weldment where you can hold your auto drop hammer drive cap or an AW, AWJ Acer Deuce, uh, a pipe wrench, a split spoon, kind of whatever you don't want laying on the ground, you can use that weldment for. There's a couple different options when talking winches on the 3135. You can have a dual winch setup or a triple winch setup. This machine is equipped with your triple winch setup. We've got a 6,800 pound winch, 2,500 pound winch, or the 1,100 pound winch, which is your wire line for those that rock core. Now we'll head over to the control panel. Now that we're at the control panel, we'll start up top here with the head feed pressure control. This is an option on this machine and it's more coring driven than anything else. What, what it is, is when you engage this knob, you are able to use a weight on bit that stays consistent when you're drilling down hole. You can dial in that pressure with this knob here. Now we'll move down to the drilling functions. You've got your winch one, winch two, winch three. You've got your head feed. You've got your direct push hammer control. And then as we mentioned before, your side shifting left and right. Over here is a joystick to dial in your rotary speeds. Moving on down, a cool feature of this machine is your hands-free controls of your rotary and your head feed. So when you're rock coring, when you're mud, when you're using mud rotary, you can dial in a nice rotation speed and a head feed, and, and then you can dial in that and keep that consistent. In the middle here, you have your MD4 screen. This screen is touch screen. But in inclement conditions or weather, you may not want to use a touch screen. You also have push buttons below here to toggle in between screens or get to different functions, as well as a joystick to toggle through your options, an enter button here, and a systems button here that pulls up kind of a main menu. Over here, using your MD4 screen, you can choose between controlling your outriggers or your tracks with these two joysticks. You would have to enable this by pushing this button and holding it while using these two joysticks. Down here, you've got your potentiometer to dial in your gallons per minute on your uh, mud pump. You've got your mud pump on and off, your auto drop hammer on and off, your light kit on and off, your auxiliary on off, and then you've got your rotary gears. So you've got your low gear, first, second, and third. 
Then when you switch over to high, you've got fourth, fifth, and sixth. Here's your region. And the region function on this machine is when you're in region, you've got a quicker acceleration of the head up, but you do lose a little bit of power. When you have non-region, you have a little bit slower movement up with that head, but you have full power. This also does give you um, access into your uh, CPT control to switch that on. Here you've got your blade that's in the rear of the machine, raise and lower, but to use this, you also have to have that enable button pressed and held. Down here, you've got your master orientation, auto drop hammer, raise and lower, oscillation. You've got up to 10 degrees of oscillation left to right. This is a great function when you're in some awkward situations with your frame of your machine, maybe at a different level than your mast. You can oscillate it to get plumb and ready to drill. Here's your wiggle tail, left and right, your mast dump or up, your extend out and in, and then your lay down and stand up lever here. Below here is your clamp, open and close for your breakout and your hydraulic winch there as well for your breakout. Here's your telescoping winch mast. And with the 3135, with the three foot mast extension, you can raise that telescoping winch mast up to about 26 foot. Over here, you can dial in your clamp force. Like I said before, it's got 21,000 pounds of clamp force, so you can dial that lower or max it out at that 21,000. Now we'll move around to the operator side of the machine. Now that we're on the operator side of the machine, we can talk about some mud pump op options. This one is equipped with a 3L8, but you also have options of a 2L4, a 3L6, and then some higher pressure triplex pump options are available. A really cool feature, again with this 3135, is a primary and sec secondary hydraulic pump. What that means is if you're in rotary applications, uh, say mud rotary and you're deeper down hole, and you need a little bit more power from your mud pump, you can turn that up and dial that in without stealing away power from your drilling application. Moving on down here, you do have an e-stop. This 3135 is equipped with a CAT 3.6, 134 horsepower engine. Now let's move to the back of the machine. Now that we're on the back of the machine, we can talk about the rear stabilization blade. This blade helps stabilize the machine when it comes to uneven terrain. This is a 78 inch wide blade that can pick up up to 3000 pounds. So you can take your drop rack and tooling from job site and back without any issue here. Now let's move to the helper side of the machine. Now that we're on the helper side of the machine, let's talk about some rail options for you. This machine came equipped with a tool holder, a dual toolbox and a five foot rod rack. The tool holder is good for Shelby tubes, pipe wrenches, basically any tools that you want to ride along. The dual toolbox is awesome because you can keep your backup remote or tools or anything you can fit in here. And then the five foot rod rack is obviously comes in handy. Obviously hold your five foot direct push tooling, pipe, casings, anything you got like that. And it also comes with a smaller table up top. So you can cut open liners, you can open up split spoons for any geologists or any, anybody like that that you may have on site that wants to look at the samples you're taking. Now, another option for the helper side rail would be a 10 foot rod rack. Now applying that 10 foot rod rack, it would take up almost this whole rail. So you would then not be able to have your toolbox or your tool holder, but that's a option that we provide if you would like to take advantage of it. The 3135 GT is equipped with four e-stops. You have one here at the top of your control panel. You have a pull e-stop here next to the driller. You have one on the operator side, one on the helper side, and then you also have two additional ones, one on each of the remotes that you have. With your 3135, you have two remotes that come with the machine. The first one is your tethered mode. Most people use this as their backup remote. It comes with an e-stop, and joysticks to control the tracks, as well as you can raise and lower the blade by pushing and holding that enable button. Use this tether remote by plugging it in on the back of the remote, and then also the other side into the back of the e-stop on the operator side. Here's your wireless remote. You have individual joysticks to control the track speed, as well as a throttle up and down, your blade up and down, and then you have a toggle to switch between your track speeds three track speeds, slow, medium, 
and high. This also comes with an e-stop if needed. That concludes our walk around of the 3135. I appreciate you all watching, and if you need any other information, you can call us at 785-825-1842 or log on to geoprobe.com. Thanks.